Hello everybody, welcome to Legends Closet. Thank you very much for tuning into this special video. So, even my brother does not know what I'm about to show on this video. And I didn't want to put wrestling together with anything else like Disney or anything that would attract kids. So I made this more of a slightly adult or around teenager level uh, video. With that being told, if you haven't already checked out We Collect Wrestling, as my brother said in the past video, we are growing, we are working hard as a team to get it off the ground and continue growing as we speak. So the same has been done with Legends Closet. It's not as easier when you are dealing with a whole bunch of different things. We're talking old books, rare books, we're talking old figures, we're talking pops now. We got sports memorabilia, we have you know, even wrestling shirts, music shirts, you name it. If we find something that's old and rare or worth value and we can find it at a good low enough price to where we can resell it, we will definitely do that. So thank you very much for tuning in and let's go ahead and get this surprise started. So the very first thing we'll show, or I will show I should say, is this right here. So anybody that's a big fan of Mortal Kombat, I have the original 19, actually sorry, 2000. I have the original 2000 Midway Series 1 Mortal Kombat collectible figures. Now I don't have the full set, but as you can see the full set came with Goro, Raiden, Sonya, and Sub-Zero. Now if you look Sub-Zero with the little fade kind of looks a little bit like Scorpion. But this one right here is Sonya. I got this way back in the day. So again, these are 20 years old. Currently looking at about $30 to $60 in price depending on if they're open or not. I currently got mine up for $60. I might lower it a little bit or something. I haven't decided because these are very valuable to me. I've had them since I was young. So this one right here is Sub-Zero, my very favorite of all the Mortal Kombat characters. Everybody else might be a Scorpion fan, but Sub-Zero was the one I chose when I was growing up as the one that I thought was the best. So here it is, Sub-Zero. Same thing on the back, Series 1 shows all four. I have seen Goro in the wild, but Raiden, I don't think I ever got a chance to ever see Raiden. He's very extremely rare to find. The other thing here is the surprise that my brother is not aware of. So, to get everybody on the same page as us, we are going to AEW and we are going to Dynamite to see wrestlers live. Now, as wrestling fans, we usually bring posters, not all the time, but I actually bought it and made it myself and thought that, you know, I should put all these I should put all these ideas into the We Collect Wrestling one and I'm all out of ideas. So my brother can probably help me out with some ideas or you guys at home. So here it is, the Legends Closet that you should be looking for if you're there. So if you are live at the event or you are watching it, watch out for this sign right here. Legends Closet. As you can see, we have Legends. I messed up on the S, so we got a snake instead. We got Closet with the little door. Subscribe today, so if you haven't already subscribed to Legends Closet, please hit that subscription. Also hit the notification bell if you want to be aware of when we drop our videos. As you can see, they're on a mirror closet. The one that says, I take cameras, that's supposed to be Marco Stunt with the little I Love Sammy Guevara shirt. We got Cerro Mero, a little bit of the bubbly. He's not doing a thumbs up, that's supposed to be a bottle, but I really suck at drawing. Here we have our boy Darby Allen on a skateboard. For anybody that's not aware, the guy that's smiling with the beard and the hair, that's supposed to be the bastard Pac. Obviously that's Orange Cassidy. We got some shirts here. This right where my finger is is supposed to be those Funko Pops like you've seen in my video. Uh, we collect wrestling where, like I said, we're doing Funko Pops. 
Not gonna probably get too hard into them, but we'll see. Right now it's a popular thing and we're into, you know, getting stuff from our hands into other people's hands. So if you're in Funko Pops, we are going to get into Funko Pops as well. Those are the Young Bucks. This right here is the Bunny and the Blade. So the Butcher, the Bunny and the Blade. I thought I'd throw a reference in there. This weird looking thing right here is actually a sock. So I, could, I was trying to find something to put in for the proud and powerful. That was the best that I could think of. Now for the glorious part. Anybody that's aware of what Cody does, that's the sledgehammer. Spoiler alert for anybody that hasn't already seen. I apologize, I probably just said that above. But I can put that in on the description. So, John Moxley did win the championship. John Moxley's the new champion. He gets his own little belt. The boots were just in there because I wanted to put boots. If you look, AEW Unrivaled. It's really hard to tell because the black on brown. But that's a box of the AEW Unrivaled. Soon to come out in August. Figures. So, with that, once they come out, I'll be figure hunting for them. And me and Matthew will put those on videos. Possibly on both channels. I haven't decided yet. If you are a fan of Adam Page, I do not have to say much more than what that means. So anybody that's aware of who Adam Page is and likes cowboy stuff, well, this is cowboy stuff. The other side, should put this on my poster because I don't have any ideas now. That's right. He's going to be on the other side waving this right here. World heavyweight champion of AEW, Gio Moxley. So, it is not a white belt. I am going to make my brother Matthew fill in the blanks there. So, I will possibly have him put it on Instagram, make a video, I don't know, but we will show him filling that in at AEW so if you want to see anything that has to do with AEW and see behind the scenes from a fan's perspective not only will I be showing stuff on we collect wrestling but there's a good chance that if you catch us on Legends Closet that my brother Matthew will put stuff on here as well as we are trying to grow both channels and it wouldn't be fair for me to put a hundred percent into just the we collect wrestling but one of the reasons why the focus isn't a hundred percent on Legends Closet is because, well, we're trying as hard as we can. As you can see with the videos, not only have we tried with different collectibles, but we're trying with the monthly subscriptions or mystery boxes. So with that being said, check out his reviews. Check out his, uh, I apologize, long video and I'm kind of running out of juice here. Check out Matthew's videos, check out his mystery boxes, check out the Bud K video. Give us some feedback on what we can do to also improve our channel. Any kind of support is appreciated. Thank you very much for tuning in. If it is snowing in your area, I hope you have a safe, wonderful holiday week.